Human approaches and attitudes toward other primates has really been bound up with a history of imperial domination and racial oppression and attempts to measure degrees of humanness and non-humanness. The current science about primates, about human cognition, still bear those historical roots. The course emanates from an exhibit that we have on view in the Stanford Library. It's around the paintings of an Austrian painter named Gabriel von Max at the turn of the 20th century. And the course essentially jumps off from this existing treasure that we have here temporarily and asks the question, not only what is the difference between humans and apes, but how have these similarities and differences been viewed historically? Von Max kept a lot of monkeys in his home and basically raised them as kids. And he grew really fond of them and he decided to start painting a lot of them in various poses, often quite humanizing poses, which has its own set of implications. He was just deeply fascinated in them as emotional beings. It's a saying that we know the eyes are the windows to the soul and that was what really drew me to the paintings right away. The way the eyes listened, it was very curious. Every week we have different readings and so it's very discussion focused. Someone will talk about either a piece of Von Max's art and relate it to a theme. For example, mine was display of emotions in primates. Or people will look at the tools in the exhibit or the different books. One of my favorite readings was Darwin's theory of evolution. Just because I am a bit more curious in the biological sense. It's so important to teach students history with objects. Obviously we have a lot of text, but objects allow them to pose their own historical questions. Every single archive has a story. 